Hi friends, today is Hebrews chapter 3. And so, dear brothers and sisters who belong to God and are partners with those called to heaven, think carefully about this Jesus, whom we declare to be God's messenger and high priest. For he was faithful to God who appointed him just as Moses served faithfully when he was entrusted with God's entire house. I just, I gotta stop for a second. He said, think carefully about this Jesus. <laughs> when everything is a mess and things are scary and out of place and uncertain and overwhelming and overbearing and frustrating, take some time off of that and think carefully about this Jesus. Just a little tip there. Verse 3, but Jesus deserves far more glory than Moses, just as a person who builds a house deserves more praise than the house itself. For every house has a builder, but the one who built everything is God. Moses was certainly faithful in God's house as a servant. His work was an illustration of the truths God would reveal later. But Christ, as a son, is in charge of God's entire house, and we are God's house. If we keep our courage and remain confident in our hope in Christ, this is what the Holy Spirit says. Today, when you hear his voice, don't harden your hearts, as Israel did when they rebelled, when they tested me in the wilderness. There your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw my miracles for 40 years. So I was angry with them, and I said, their hearts always turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So in my anger, I took an oath. They will never enter my place of rest. Verse 12, be careful then, dear brothers and sisters. Make sure that your own hearts are not evil and unbelieving, turning you away from the living God. If you feel like that today, you can just repent and say, I'm sorry, God, for not trusting you or not believing in you. I'm sorry for letting my heart get hard towards you. I want to change. I want to have a soft heart towards you. He'll take it. <laughs> He'll be so glad you prayed that and come swoop right in and um, help you. And you'll be so glad. You will be so glad. Verse 13. You must warn each other every day while it is still today so that none of you will be deceived by sin and hardened against God. For if we are faithful to the end, trusting God just as firmly as when we first believed, we will share in all that belongs to Christ. Remember what it says today when you hear his voice. Don't harden your hearts as Israel did when they rebelled. And who was it who rebelled against God? Even though they heard his voice, wasn't it the people that Moses led out of Egypt? And who made God angry for 40 years? Wasn't it the people who sinned, whose corpses lay in the wilderness? And to whom was God speaking when he took an oath that they would never enter his rest? Wasn't it the people that disobeyed him? So see, so we see that because of their unbelief, they were not able to enter his rest. Wow. That is the end of chapter 3. It talks a lot in here about Moses and the Israelites. And you can read a lot more about them in the Old Testament in Genesis, Exodus, and basically the whole Old Testament is written about these chosen people of God. And now, because of Jesus, we are also chosen people of God. And it says in verse 6, the verse that I'm going to write down, it says, But Christ, as the Son, is in charge of God's entire house, and we are God's house, if we keep our courage and remain confident in our hope in Christ. What does that mean? If we keep our confidence and hope 
and the fact that we prayed and asked him to be our savior. And a lot of times you might not feel something, might not be um, goosebumps or supernatural thing that happens to you. Sometimes you're just making a choice. You're saying, I'm choosing you, God, and I'm choosing to come to you through the Lord Jesus Christ, the only way to heaven. And if you will uh, hold on to that and remember your remember that God did that for you and that you accepted his great grace and love and ah, that's what he says that we are his house he did that for us and we're so grateful and we can rely on his promises and believe and trust him to get us through these challenging times in our life whatever kind of challenge it is so I'm going to write that verse down and spend some time with God Checking on myself on the inside, checking to see, am I remaining confident in you, God? Am I, keep, am I keeping my courage in you in spite of all the things that try to go around frustrating us? <laughs> Be blessed, friends.